How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're taking a look at the best VPNs for speed. We've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Now, I'm not going to be talking too much about these VPNs, except for within the context of speed. Though, if you're interested in learning more about the privacy policy, the performance, uh, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below, as well as links to pricing discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. Okay, so there are a few things you want to keep in mind when using a VPN. First of all, you want to be using the best performing protocol. So with ExpressVPN, that's going to be the lightweight UDP protocol. This is the best protocol for speed. And um, I mean, 99% of the time, if not more, it will actually work just fine with all the servers without any exceptions. Now with NordVPN, and this is going to be the fastest VPN out of all three, thanks to the NordLynx protocol, this is definitely the protocol you want to use. It makes NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN. VPN in the business. And with Surfshark, we'll go to settings here, VPN settings, and you want to make sure you're using the WireGuard protocol, similar to NordLynx, which is also a WireGuard based protocol. With Surfshark, the WireGuard protocol, this is going to be the best performing protocol. So once you've selected the best performing protocol, you're going to be able to reach the maximum speeds. Now with a VPN, obviously, uh, due to the time it takes to encrypt your traffic, which is what a VPN does basically, it's going to slow down your speed naturally. But a good premium VPN uh, is going to minimize that drop in speed so that you barely feel that drop in speed. So let's say your speed is, you know, 50 megabits per second or 100 megabits per second. You know, an unreliable VPN might drop your speed by about half and you'll feel the difference. So you might be left with uh, 50 megabits per second or 40 megabits per second. You know, it'll drop your speed by about 50 or 60 percent if your speed is 100 megabits per second. But with Express, Nord and Surfshark, the drop in speed is going to be maintained between, you know, at times, especially with Nord VPN, it will even be below 10%, which is just tremendous. Uh, whereas with Express and Surfshark, generally speaking, these three VPNs will maintain uh, a speed drop between about 8%, 10%, and, you know, in worst case scenario, about... 25 to 30 percent, which is absolutely excellent. And most of the times you won't even see a 30 percent drop in speed. Now, of course, if you do see a 30 percent drop in speed, let's say your speed is at 100 megabits per second and it drops by 20 percent to 80 megabits per second you know, you're not really going to notice that much of a difference. It's still a very high speed internet. But let's say your ISP is not blessing you with the best of speeds and you're stuck, let's say, with 10 megabits per second or 5 megabits per second. You don't want a VPN that drops your speed by 50 or 60 percent, which is when these VPNs can come in really handy um, since they'll only drop your speed by, you know, about 10 to 15, 20 percent. Most of the times it'll actually be between uh, 10 and 20 percent. So, yeah, overall, these VPNs are some of the best VPNs with regards to speed torrenting, streaming, whatever it is that you're looking to do uh, with a VPN or if you're just looking to secure your device and you don't want to lose out on any speed. Obviously, if you're looking for the best servers and let's say you got, you know, uh, you selected the best protocol. Now you want to look for the best server. You don't have to test these servers manually. You can just go to the speed tester right here, select a region or just keep it on recommended locations. You know, you can just select, let's say, Europe. If you're in the European region, you want to connect to a nearby server. You can just run the test. And while the speed may not be accurate, it's going to give you a good estimation as to which uh, server has the best latency and speed for you specifically. And uh, with Surfshark, you also have that feature. If you go down here, speed test, you'll be able to test specific regions. Um, you want to test the uh, specialty servers, the static IP servers, the physical servers, the virtual servers, the peer to peer servers. Uh, so yeah, overall, this is going to be a feature that saves you a little bit of time instead of having to test the uh, servers yourself. But generally speaking, I mean, you know, even though NordVPN does not have that kind of feature, you can just assume that the closer the server, the better the connection. That's just uh, how it works, really. The less distance there is between uh, you and the server you're connected to, 
the better the connection is going to be and the faster the speed and obviously the lower the latency. So that is pretty much it for this video. All these VPNs are very reliable overall. You know, just to sum it up, ExpressVPN is going to be a great VPN for anonymity and privacy, especially if you want a VPN that is super quick and uh, just very easy to use. This is going to be your best choice overall. It's my personal daily VPN. With NordVPN, it's going to be the well-rounded value VPN that is uh, quite a bit cheaper than ExpressVPN, but still gives you absurdly high performance and uh, a whole bunch of bonus features that can be super useful with Surfshark it's going to be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary features that you need to keep your devices secure. And it's cool that it allows you to secure up to an unlimited number, virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single account. So you can share your account with friends and family freely. Whereas with NordVPN, ExpressVPN, NordVPN will allow you to secure up to six devices and five with ExpressVPN as far as simultaneous connections per subscription. Uh, now, again, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these VPNs, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing discounts if you wanna jump straight to that either way they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee so you can test drive or stress test these vpns for 30 days risk-free otherwise you can just get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day